Hello, I'm going to show you how to use this simple JSON driver from command4.com. So here are all the variables. We are, you're given 20 number variables and about 5 string variables. String variables are basically text, number variables are exactly as they're seen. And what this will do is it'll spit out a JSON, a very simple JSON string on port 8585. So that way you can pull variables from control4. Control4 will collect it variables such as temperatures and statuses, ons or offs, ones and zeros, and like things like alarm panel set setups. So how do we set this up? Well, we have all these variables here on the product programming, so we can go under a simple JSON command and notice how all these variables. Now if you were to invoke an action, you could do something along the lines of, let's say, um, we'll go to kitchen, main house TV. If the temperature changes, we can tell the simple JSON to set the value of number one to the output value of the main B1 temperature up there. there. That way, any time that the temperature changes, it will set that variable. Now, how does this help you? It means that you can take these variables now and get them out of Control 4 and into a web proxy format. So you can do things like simple uh, live statuses to uh, web servers. Now, it's never a grand idea to directly connect things to the 8585, which is also implying heavily that you have a web server or something local to control for to run the system. A lot of big projects could potentially have a web server local to the home just for simple stuff. So that's what that is for. And then you can use that in conjunction with port 9595 on the events driver to fire an event which is also a simple string command to respond back that, hey, I did the work. So there you are. That's it. That's how that works.